Hey everyone! Warren Buffett's investment success is legendary. As one of the most respected investors with a long history of picking winners, it's no wonder so many try to emulate his strategy. While value investing takes dedication to deeply understand businesses, Buffett has shared much wisdom over decades that can guide your own investment journey. Today, I'll be going over nine core principles inspired by the Oracle of Omaha himself that you can apply in your pursuit of building wealth. Make sure to stick around to the end for a special bonus tip. This is the Finance Virtuoso channel where we talk about all things finance. For your daily dose of valuable information on money, business, investments, and savings, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell right now. Principle number one. Invest in companies you understand. Buffett suggests sticking to your circle of competence industries or businesses you really grasp. This allows better evaluation of prospects when you comprehend financial health, competitive edge, challenges slash opportunities, and more. While first-hand industry or operational experience is great, rigorous research to fully understand a company is key. Examine market position, performance versus competitors leadership team caliber, brand reputation, and more. For Buffett, investing is a strategic choice, not luck. Support companies you believe in. Principle number two, seek companies with strong competitive advantage. An economic moat gives a business a unique edge that's hard to replicate. This protective barrier maintains leadership and profitability. Think Google's superior search algorithms early on or Coca-Cola's secret soda formula. Finding moat companies requires industry understanding to know what sets a business apart. Is there a patented innovation or process that enhances efficiency or product quality? Track record of outperforming the market, financial stability, trusted brand recognition, and unique technologies slash processes hint at the enduring competitive edge. The most successful buffet investments boast unbeatable brands loved for generations like Coca-Cola or Gillette. Their nostalgic appeal continues driving sales despite new entrants. Principle number three, assess company leadership. Since shareholders are part owners, Buffett examines if management priorities align with investor interests. Look for evidence in dividend payments and buybacks. Generous dividends that grow over time suggest leadership commitment to shareholders. Buybacks similarly reward investors by reducing the share count to boost value. Another interesting lens is employee satisfaction, which signals a thriving culture that retains talent and intellectual capital. Glassdoor ratings over four suggest the latter. Principle number four, focus on quality over price. Rather than chase after cheap stocks, target wonderful companies, even at fair value. In the words of Buffett, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. Like, Buying quality shoes over cheap pairs that disintegrate, focus less on low stock price than on business fundamentals, track record, leadership, and future outlook. Be swayed by durable value more than temporary discount deals. Principle number five, cultivate independent thinking. Buffett warns against thoughtlessly following the investing herd, instead urging self-directed study and choices. Just because CNBC guests or your brother-in-law are raving about a stock, doesn't automatically make it right for you. Blindly following trends can lead to emotional decision-making anchored on FOMO rather than reason. At the same time, avoid being contrary just for its own sake. Stay focused on your own analysis rather than wider hype or fear. Tune out the noise and objectively examine each company's specifics. Principle number six, buy when there's blood on the streets. Markets fluctuate in cycles, presenting lucrative openings to grab underpriced stocks when there's panic selling, what Buffett calls blood on the streets. Think ultra-clearance sales when your favorite shop has a temporary huge markdown. Those who spot the opportunity grab quality merchandise at deep discounts. The challenge is finding good companies facing temporary trouble whose shares overreact on the downside. This requires careful selection, don't back sinking ships, but rather enduring brands hit by solvable issues. Requiring courage, buying amidst market chaos tests conviction. 
but massive rewards await those with the composure to block out panic and seize the unique chance to secure top stocks for way less. Principle number seven, adopt a long-term mindset. Since stocks gain over long periods as markets rise, adopt a forever ownership mindset instead of short-term. As Buffett says, if you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. Some undervalued bets require patience to realize their full potential. Expect to hold through ups and downs. Stomach market pullbacks that test conviction are essential for long-term rewards. Forget get-rich-quick schemes. This is about steady wealth building. Principle number eight, learn from mistakes. Buffett openly acknowledges his blunders, including clashing with and ultimately buying out Berkshire Hathaway's management, which he admits probably cost him $200 billion. He discusses stumbles as learning experiences to strengthen future decision-making. While past success doesn't guarantee future victory, expecting mistakes and diversifying risk helps weather investment storms when they hit. Buffett's long career teaches us that no one bats a thousand in stocks. Even legends like Warren and Charlie Munger self-reflect on errors to improve. Adopting this growth mindset around investing mistakes accelerates progress. Principle number nine, constantly invest in yourself. Buffett is a lifelong learner, advocating personal development through reading, courses, and more to become a better investor. With knowledge compounding like interest, small consistent actions create major results over decades. But self-investment also means nurturing good financial habits, living beneath your means, avoiding credit card debt, saving and reinvesting diligently. Compound interest magnifying small savings similarly works wonders over long periods. While not an actual Buffett example, hypothetically saving and investing $500 monthly in the S&P 500 for 65 years at a historical 10% average annual return could yield millions by retirement. Bonus tip, build a margin of safety. Okay, one final bonus tip Warren Buffett believes in only buying something when you're getting a fantastic deal. He wants to pay a maximum of, say, 70 cents for something worth $1. This buffer between price and value builds in the room for things to go wrong. An example we can all relate to is buying a used car. You take the seller's $10,000 asking price with a grain of salt. Even if the car seems worth that much, you offer $7,500 to get a great bargain in case your inspection uncovers issues. That gap between your purchase price and actual estimated value gives a margin of safety. If the car needs $1,500 of work, you still got a good deal. Similarly, with stocks, Buffett wants his portfolio priced much lower than realistic value, meaning there's protection if trouble hits. Bad news won't sink your investment. The takeaway? However much you calculate a stock is intrinsically worth, don't pay full price. Insist on a discount so you have a safety cushion. So there you have it. Nine top principles underpinning Warren Buffett's strategy plus an essential extra Buffettism that you can apply in your own investment journey. No one bats a thousand when it comes to stocks, not even the Oracle of Omaha. But these guidelines, legendarily used by one of history's greatest investors, can aid your success. Focus on understanding your investments deeply, seek quality companies with solid economics, always allow a margin of safety, cultivate patience and self-reliance as an investor, learn from mistakes, and keep growing your money wisdom. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any feedback or future investing topics you'd like covered. Thanks for watching and see you next time.